Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you how to build a shunt to measure high values of current. The principle of operation of a shunt is very simple. Consider this circuit. We have a battery or power supply which feeds a certain load, for example a lamp, motor, etc. And in this circuit we put a resistor with value R. Through the circuit we have a current I and we know from Ohm's law that if we measure the voltage at the resistor's terminals, we will get a value that is the current through the circuit multiplied by the value of the resistor. Therefore, we can know the value of the current if we measure the voltage and divide by the value of the resistor, which is known. Of course, in order not to perturb the system, we need to put a very small resistor. But the question is, where do we get a resistor of 1000 of an ohm? The answer is copper wire of a known size. This, for example, is size 10 AWG. There are tables of copper wire that give you all the parameters of the wire. You can see that for size 10, the wire has a resistance of 0.9989 ohms for every 1000 feet of length. How do we know the length of wire that will give us a resistance of 1000 of an ohm? It is simple. We know that for size 10, we have 0.9989 ohms per 1000 feet. So we can make a simple rule of 3. We know that 0.9989 ohms corresponds to 1000 feet. Therefore, 1000 of an ohm is an unknown value x. From here we obtain the value of x and the calculation gives roughly 1 feet of length of wire. Well, here it is. The wire is a little bit longer than one foot and this is to leave space at the ends to solder two wires. These wires are the points where we will measure the voltage and the distance between the two wires is a foot exactly. In order to make it more compact, I bent the wire and put it on a wood base. Let's now test how our shunt works. I have connected the positive of the power supply to one end of the shunt, the other end of the shunt to our load, that is this lamp, and the other end of the lamp to the negative of the power supply. Therefore, we have the lamp and the shunt in series. Of course, if I turn on the power supply, the lamp goes on, and now let me connect the multimeter which is in the scale of millivolts to the shunt and let's see the value that we get. We have a reading of 1.9130 millivolts that corresponds to a value of 1.29 amps. We can see that the power supply is giving a lecture of 1.23 amps, a little bit different. The difference in the reading of the value of current with our shunt and that given by the power supply may be due to an error of the power supply or also because our shunt is not calibrated. It is easy to make an error in the distance when we make the soldering. So ideally you need to calibrate your shunt. And in order to make this, you first have 
to measure the current with a sensitive apparatus and once you have the exact value of current you move the connection point of the shunt until your multimeter gives you the same reading that you measured before. Thank you for visiting my channel. I hope you liked the video. If you want to help me, please visit my Patreon page. See you in the next one.